This is my little introduction to what I call the interchangeable bow system. Um, I had a friend recently told me that I needed to open an Etsy shop and I didn't even know what that was. Um, but I've been making bows for a long time and um, it's something I have fun doing and it's also a way that um, my girls and I saved money when they were growing up and gave them a lot of versatility um, with the bows they had. Um, you know, there are different kinds of what is called a base bow. A base bow is going to be um, the bow that's always on the bottom. Um, you can, there are anything as, you know, ornate as a double layered bow or as simple as a little butterfly bow that you can start with. There's all different kinds of, there's cheer bows, um, you know, different styles that you can choose from for your base bow. But basically, um, what this system does is give you a maximum versatility um, in what you're doing. Um, for example, everything that I have is interchangeable. So, say I'm starting with my navy blue and white bow, and I pick up a little petite bow with a star in the middle. And it's the 4th of July, so I'm going to take the back of the alligator clip. I'm going to slide it through. And then I have the perfect bow for the 4th of July. And then, when the 4th of July is over, since I haven't had to spend 12 bucks for a single bow, and it's baseball season, I use my Red Sox corker bow, slide it in, and I'm ready to read for my favorite team. And the, the cool thing about this is that um, you can wear each bow individually, um, or you can layer them together. Um, you also have the option of using flat bottle caps. This is a Miss Mouse, and they come with Velcro on them. And what you do is you just simply plate, center your bow, your bottle cap on your bow, and wrap it around. Put your Velcro together. And there's your bow ready to match your Miss Mouse outfit. And there are all kinds of these available. I'm coming kitty. Um, cupcake. Um, there's flowers, all different sorts of, of things that you can do to customize it. Um, you can also take um, a regular headband and it's been adapted to accommodate your system and with your more petite bows like your 4th of July bow, you can take an alligator clip, go straight for the ribbon and there's your headband. And you can do the same thing with your corker bow. And you've just got tons of possibilities. Um, it's a way to save money, um, adds great versatility, um, and allows your little one to um, express their personality um, without spending a whole lot of money. Um, and then you, there you have the pink bow. And um, like I said, it's a little simpler. Um, it just depends on what your individual tastes are. Um, you can add a petite bow. Um, and this one in particular is the, the trendy pink and brown that's so big this year. Um, if she's feeling like a diva, you can add a mini bow. That says diva and it's got a little flower in the middle. Um, if she is a Hello Kitty fan, you can, as I said, there's, there are always alligator clips mounted on the back. Just slide the clip through the bow, and there's your Hello Kitty bow. And just to the same way as the others were working, you can also use this on 
um, say a white headband or a pink headband. Um, if she's got ballet practice, you can add a little ballerina. Um, and it's just a great way to, to, to make things versatile, match several different outfits um, without um, spending a, a great deal of money. Um, most boutique bows um, range anywhere from you know 850 to 1250 a piece and and what you do is you just start with your base bow and you add little pieces that are two fifty three dollars and you can take one bow and make I, I believe um, the last set I sold had five different pieces in it and so it made it possible for you to to have nine different bows um, out of one system for less than $25 and um, to me that's a, a great deal um, it helped me when I was you know um, living paycheck to paycheck as a single mom with three girls and in today's economy we can't you know a lot of us can't afford the thrills and and all that stuff so um, I started making bows again and um, I I hope you've enjoyed the video and I hope it wasn't too corny and uh, I hope you like the system and so visit our Etsy site and do some shopping.